Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another cosy video. I hope you guys are lovely and cosy, got your favourite blankets on, you've got your favourite hot drink and I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. So in today's video I wanted to film my pre-Christmas speed clean. This is just to make sure the house is all lovely and sparkly before Christmas which is literally a few days away. So first things first, of course, I'm going to have my coffee. You guys know I love to have my coffee every single morning and I love to use my mocha pot. This is quite an old fashioned way of making coffee, but honestly, I think it's the best. So I'm putting my coffee in my mocha pot and then I'm also going to put my milk in my frother and just make a yummy coffee to start me off. Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up So I'm just going to sip my coffee in the kitchen And just think of all the bits and bobs that I need to complete today I also wrote a list down on my phone And I feel like this is a really good way Just to know exactly what you need to do I also wanted to show you guys the products that I'm using for today's video. I went to B&M recently and these are the winter cleaning products I picked up and honestly they smell amazing. So I've got a mixture of Febreze, antibacterial stuff, Lenore, Unstoppables, the list goes on and you can see these lovely products here and I'm so excited to use them. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop a wash on. I always like to do this at the beginning of doing a speed clean, mainly because if I do it at the beginning, pop it on, by the time I finish cleaning everything else, it's normally complete. So then I can put it out to dry and then, yeah, that's literally me done for the day. So I tend to do this before I clean. I'm then going to move on to washing bits and bobs up in the sink that can't go into the dishwasher. So mainly all the coffee stuff I use can't be dishwashed, so I have to hand wash it, which isn't too bad. Merry Christmas Day. that is done I'm then just going to wipe and disinfect all the surfaces this is just a really good way to kill any bacteria and just to make everything all lovely and shiny so I'm just gonna wipe absolutely everything down I did wipe the handles and the cupboards and stuff like that but it didn't film for some reason but I always do that just to make sure everything is all disinfected because if you think how many times you're opening and closing all the cupboards it might not be that hygienic sometimes so it's good to disinfect it I sort of do mine every day if I'm honest especially with Covid going around I know it's only me and Bradley at home but it's just really good and important to do that I'm then going to move on to the sink and clean the sink I've got this flash spray and it is so good I love using a minky just because I find it so easy and convenient to use and it really makes everything all lovely and shiny. So I'm just going to use this to make everything all shiny and then grab a damp cloth and then make everything even shinier. Thinking of my only wish. I don't need a perfect snowman. After I've plugged in my new Febreze which smells amazing. I'm then going to hoover and mop the floor. I also unloaded the dishwasher, but again, for some reason, it didn't film it. So I'm really sorry about that. But I did wipe all the sides and also unload the dishwasher as well. My last part, which is also my favorite part, is popping the kettle on, soaking my cloths in Zaflora, and then putting the kettle water into the sink. This not only disinfects, it also makes your whole house smell amazing and of your favorite Zaflora. So today I have winter morning, which is one of my personal favorites, and it just smells absolutely amazing. 
are shining like no other. I'm then going to move on to the hallway and just dust and hoover and mop it because not much goes on here to be honest with you so that's all that needs to be done. I'm really sorry if the lighting changes in this video as well. I decided to film this late afternoon which I don't think was the best idea so that was literally when the sun was setting so I had to turn a lot of main lights on so I'm very sorry if the lighting seems all over the place but I did try my best. <laughs> I'm then going to move on to the sofa and just fluff all the cushions up, fold any blankets and then put some Febreze on it just to refresh everything and make it smell all lovely. I'm then just going to dust the coffee table, tidy away any bits that don't need to be there, put my favourite candles on and just do little jobs like that which make me feel so good and productive. I am then just going to hoover and mop the front room as always we do normally have a rug here but I'm not gonna lie it smelled a little bit of puppy wee <laughs> so we have purchased a new one I think it was old puppy wee which is probably even worse we didn't realize until we lifted it up and it didn't smell that great so we have decided to get rid of it and I have bought a new one and since then Luna has been potty trained so she just wheezes and does her business outside so this is the front room all tidy. I'm then moving on to upstairs and the banister. I love my stair garland. So I'm just gonna turn the cute fairy lights on and then head upstairs to fold away the washing from the night before. So we don't have a tumble dryer, so we have to let everything air dry, which to be honest with you, I kind of like, and I'm in a routine of it now, and I feel like you don't get that burnt smell that you do in tumble dryers. So I actually really like it. So I'm just going to fold everything away so it's all ready for the new wash load when it's all finished. Oh, how much I missed you. Want to spend this day with you. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Moving on to the beauty room. To be honest with you, not much needed to be done in here. I'm trying this new thing where I'm really, really trying my hardest to not let it get messy, which is very hard, but I'm just trying my hardest and I feel like it's working. But because I have mirrored furniture in absolutely every angle of this room, it always needs dusting. So I'm just dusting everything and making sure it's all lovely and sparkly. Yes, I'm on my way. This time I'm here to stay. I'm coming home for Christmas. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Oh, how much I missed you. Wanna spend this day with you. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Moving on to the bathroom, to be honest with you, me and Bradley actually completely cleaned this yesterday. We bleached everything, so it just needed a bit of a freshen up, it needed a bit of a shine. So I just went around with my spray and my cloth just to shine everything and just to tidy it and put it all in its right place. I'm then going to use my White Company spray and just spray all the towels and everything to make it smell all lovely.
Moving on to the bedroom, me and Bradley changed the bed sheets the night before, mainly because my back's really hurting at the moment and I think it's because I've just been working too much. So I couldn't do it on my own, otherwise I would have done it in today's video. But again, everything needs to be polished, so I'm just gonna polish everything and spray everything with my favorite linen. Jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop. But somehow I knew, and maybe so. So, my lovelies, this is going to conclude today's pre Christmas bee clean. Obviously, everyone's house is completely different. I'm sorry if it's not messy enough for you, but this is just what my house looks like at the moment. And I wanted to share with you just stuff that I like to do just to make it all refreshed and lovely for Christmas. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on Thursday for a very exciting Christmas pamper video. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys then. Bye. It's